I am Chef Diane DeMayo, and tonight's sexy date food, we are making pho. What exactly is pho? It's a Vietnamese-style soup. And for me, I add a little bit of pork, beef, some ginger, cloves, star anise, and cinnamon to make the broth. Then afterwards, some rice noodles with some garnishes of bean sprouts, basil, a little bit of lime juice, and some red hot chili peppers. Let's get cooking. So first, I'm going to add my pork and beef. I like to use simple, cheap cuts. I use pork neck bones and beef neck bones. Maybe you might think that's kind of gross, but that's okay because you can use any type of beef or pork as long as you little bone it because it adds some super nice flavors. In goes my pork. And that was approximately two or three pounds. You don't need that much, but if you're cooking for just a super sexy date, I'd say maybe three or four pieces of beef and three or four pieces of pork. I've just made enough to feed an army, but that's okay because I'm gonna eat it. All right, in goes my beef. And then next, all of my added flavorings. Garlic, and I like a lot of garlic, so we're gonna go with maybe six. I smash them, release some of the oils and some of the flavor. One more for good luck. Bow. Then we're gonna use some onions. I don't like to use my fresh onions because you don't need to. I always get out my old pieces of onion, get them out of the way, use them so they're not clogging up your refrigerator. I use about a half of onion and throw it in. That's really all you need to do. And ginger. I like a lot of ginger. Peel it with a spoon. It's like having a ginger facial. But at least it smells good, right? You can walk around like that. And then I just kind of give it a couple of cuts so it releases the flavor. And that's it. Next, cinnamon. Sometimes some places will use a five, five spice but I like the real thing. So I'll do two sticks of cinnamon, some whole cloves, uh, 15 cloves, and it goes, and my star anise. The one thing you have to watch for the soup is once you start to simmer it, a lot of what we call soup scum starts to float to the top. It's all the impurities from the meat and the bones that are cooking. You wanna make sure you skim that off. I have learned over time though, the amount of time you cook the actual broth, the scum sometimes will settle to the sides of the pan if you cannot keep up with skimming it. So you can go ahead and remove all the scum off the side of the pan when you get to it. All right, we're gonna go with star anise is a pod. I have to go into that. And it smells like wonderful licorice and for Asian food, it adds an amazing flavor to it. I just wanna eat this. Okay, so I've got about four of those in there and water. We're going to be cooking this on a slow simmer for about three and a half or four hours until the meat falls off of the bone. Because basically between using whatever else you want to use in it, you could also use some of the soft meat to go inside that soup. And there it is. And now we're going to get this on the stove. We're going to get the sauce stock on a nice low flame so it will simmer. And we'll get a lid on it, let it cook. So while we're waiting for the sock to simmer, we're gonna enjoy a nice, delicious Sriracha Grey Goose Martini. I bet you wanna know how to make this. Click right over here and you'll get a bootleg tip, Sriracha Grey Goose Martini. See you in a little while. It's been about four hours and my soup is ready. Okay, so first thing that I do is I get my noodles inside my bowl. They're nice and hot still. I don't rinse these off because then it would change the texture and the coldness. It would actually make the soup cold if I were to actually cool these off before using them. So here we go, on the side. Now, I add some fresh sweet onions to the top and a couple pieces of rare meat. After that, I get my super yummy soup broth right on top so it kind of cooks the meat as it's going on top. You can see the meat actually changing colors. Then, I go ahead and get the rest of my ingredients. Generally, we use Thai basil. If you can't find it, you can use regular basil. You just kind of rip it up into pieces, throw that into your soup. I like to add a little bit of cilantro to mine. You don't have to. We get our bean sprouts on there, a little bit of the fresh lime juice. I like my stuff spicy, as you should. Inside it goes. Now. 
I have the amazing pork and beef off of these bones that are so tender they come off. You could add this to your soup if you wanted to. It still works because this is delicious too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Now, I always add a little bit of sambal ulak, which you can buy in your Asian grocery stores. It's just like a salty chili sauce that has the seeds in it and it adds super good flavor. A little bit. And that's all she wrote. Ooh, I gotta show you. Check that out. And that's the meat that was once rare. Now it's nice and kind of cooked in there. And here we go. That is so freaking good. You have the spice from the star anise, the cinnamon, the cloves, together with the kind of like flavoring from the pork bones and the beef bones. And when I added everything else, bean sprouts, basil, cilantro, lime juice, and chili, and the onions, it gives it a delicious, yummy, Flavor. This is an authentic Vietnamese pho, or at least my style, which I consider pretty authentic. Super date food, and you're gonna love this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMay, and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are making something super sexy. We're making a martini, and if you'd like, you can add a little bit of sriracha into it to give it some kick and some burn.